Alright guys, Diecast Mania here with another video, and today we're going to be doing a model review of the highly anticipated Diecast Masters 150th scale Caterpillar D9T track type tractor. This is model number 85944. And it's part of the Highline series, so it comes in this tin. On the top, you can see a nice photo of the real machine, photo of the model on the front. On the back, you can see a photo of the real machine and all the specifications summed up nicely on the real machine. So anyway, we're going to start off with the functionality. The tracks, uh, obviously they roll and they have a spring-loaded uh, tensioner on both tracks that is quite nice. Now the tracks, they don't roll on a smooth surface, but if you put it on a slightly rougher surface, like the piece of foam that they supply inside the box, you can see the tracks roll very nicely. Now enough with the tracks, uh, we're going to move on to the business end, the blade. Blade raises up nice and high and will hold. The blade kind of has uh, weak cylinders uh, in the intermediate positions and kind of just drops, but as you can see, not a very far um, reach for the cut, but as you can see, the blade rolls back to about there, and it rolls forward like that. Not the full range of movement, but it is captured uh, decently well. The other end of the model, we have the Ripper, which goes down a decent extent, and uh, I'll just show you how far down it goes. So yeah, you could use this in the diorama for ripping, it reaches down far enough. And you can see the different poses. You can set it in nice and high to get it out of the way. And just everything in between. Now, as far as the detail goes, hydraulic hoses are abundant on this model. Uh, they're even in places where you have, would probably would never have seen them on previous Northcott or Tonkin models. Like there's one leading to the tilt cylinder, the blade there. There's a whole mass of hydraulic lines in there. And we even have uh, lines to the cylinders and the lights up on top, which are finished off in silver. Nice texture, CAD graphic. We have the wiring and everything. We have nice uh, printed uh, simulation for the vents D9T. These are metal, I believe. Actually, no, they're plastic. These little steps. But all the rest of the handrails are metal, with the exception of the uh, little assist uh, rail there. Now, up on the top, we can see the painted uh, GPS system built in, the pods, and nice fine rails up here. Vent detailing, the air intake, exhaust. And on the back, we can see the lights here, which actually are more intricate than I thought they would have been. You can see that they are the structure, the light, the housing on the outside, and there's actually a silver separate piece with um, for the lens or whatever, and um, it's actually casted or molded detail in there. Now, my model has a slight defect over here with the paint, but not the worst. And inside the cab, we can see the operator, whatever you want to name him, and yeah, I could make a joke with him not touching the pedals on the floor, but I'll restrain from that. Uh, as you can see, he looks quite at home inside the cab. So yeah, and he's sitting at an angle which is accurate for the size of dozer, so you can see what you're doing. As with the dozer this size, most of the priority is uh, observing what you're doing with the blade for productivity. So, And there's also these rails up here but that's pretty much the D9T. You can see underneath there is a nice bit of bolt detailing on the underpan. Looks quite nice. Diecast Masters 150 at scale. And yeah. Overall I think this is a very very nice dozer model. Um, you know collectors have been waiting for a D9 for a number of years ever since the MZG D9R model. This is a good um, successor to that so anyway for those of you that 
might want to uh, modify the model. The blades just screwed on. And before I forget, you can see, you can achieve a tiny bit of tilt with the blade. Not a whole lot, but it is there as the uh, tilt mechanism is modeled with that bar down in there. So anyway, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this model review. So that is the Diecast Masters D9T model 85944. There you go. Thanks for watching.